Well, good morning, distinguished guests, parents, family members, friends. I'm Scott Harris. I'm the registrar here at Camosun College, and I'd like to begin this morning by acknowledging that the college's campuses are located on the traditional territories of the Lekwungen and the Wasanich peoples. And with that, I'd like to welcome you to the 2024 Convocation Ceremony at Camosun College. And you can applaud to that. <laughs> So this morning, we have the honor of presenting graduates from the School of Health and Human Services. And I'd like to thank our musicians, Connor Wellman, Essencia Leandro, and Eli Breitenstein of the uh, Camosun Music Program held out of the Victoria Conservatory of Music. Thank you so much, musicians, for playing us in. So in just a moment, the uh, procession will begin entering from the, the back corner there through the main doors, beginning with the dais party, that's the folks that will sit up here, uh, followed by college faculty who will take their seats over farther down the stage, and then of course the most important folks of today, the members of the graduating class. If you're able, I'd invite you to please stand as drummers Benjamin George of the Sayout First Nation and Scott Sam of the Sartlip First Nation lead the procession. Please stand.
Thank you. Thank you, drummers. Thank you so much. And welcome, graduates. Please be seated. Thank you so much. So now it is my real honor to invite Dr. Skip Dick of the Songhees Nation to bring a welcome to these traditional territories. Skip. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I saw those on Zoom. <laughs> You know that's a terrible feeling when you say hello on Zoom? Yeah, that's quiet. <laughs> it's amazing. My dear friends, my traditional name is Lachichala, the name given to me by my family in, in a ceremony. Um, so I know my family and I know my land, etc. But uh, like your name, I can go anywhere in the world and know I belong somewhere. But anyway, the, um, I'd just like to thank our institution, Camosun College, for allowing us to share with you our, one of our ways. We have um, um, very talented, very trained, and drummers and things like that. And, they're, they're, they're especially trained for ceremonies like this, and I thank them for that, because we do have the, the play songs, the, the fun songs, and the, the healing songs. And it, the, the ceremony of walking in with the drum, drummers is just, just to clear the way for the young people in their journey on, the, on their way in lifetime and we want the best for them. And we have a ceremony when they leave home, they have a ceremony when they come home, real big ceremony. But anyway, I just want to congratulate our grads and just continue, continue showing your family you're going to be okay. You know that if you go down the wrong road, we lose them too soon. But if you continue showing them, you're going to be okay. They're going to keep them longer. Really appreciate what you're doing. And the families that do all the supporting, now it's for them to be given back to you. We know that most of the families would give their shirt off their back for the young people to be here. And then now it's up to the responsibility of our young ones to start planning how they're going to give back to you but they're showing you that they're going to be okay and with that I want to say on behalf of our Songhees and the Kwangan people have a real good afternoon and welcome to the territory Baichko Well, thank you so much, Skip, for your welcome and for getting us started today. Uh, Skip, your words are all, you know, always so warm and welcoming, and we really appreciate you being here. Thank you. So next, I would like to invite you to stand once again, if you're able, as we invite Brother Rick to perform a welcome song. Or is it an honor song, Brother Rick? It's a love song, says Brother Rick. Okay, please stand.
celebration for you, your special day. To glow so brightly that knowing everything that our beloved family encouraged you to keep going, kicking you out the door, just another day, <laughs> and almost done 13 years ago. <laughs> and also, our brothers and sisters here, staff, faculty, for everything that you've shared with all of them. Everything that you've shared always comes from the heart, from your personal experiences, the teachings, each position that you all carry and shared with all of our brothers and sisters here. Knowing that in the future that maybe one or two of them will be standing in your place. You know, and that's the awesome thing about our future, knowing just how strong it's going to be with everything that we see from your eyes and their eyes. And this is why it makes me so proud and happy to be but a small part of today's celebration. I thank you, the family, from the bottom of my heart for really encouraging and keeping after them, complete it. Husbands, wives, peers, everything that you've learned, you're going to be passing on to the younger generation. You are the mentors. Whatever positions you take after today in your future job. And just I really honestly cannot say how bright my heart is for all of you. For all of you, all the family, you the staff are putting up every day with your own hard, difficult times, and you're all here. Greatly appreciated. And behind the scenes workers for making this day possible. All of our brothers and sisters in the green gowns making sure that we're in our right spot. Our brothers and sisters to the side, raise our hands to all of you for all of your hard work. This is a prayer song, and this goes out to all of you, my brothers and sisters, and that your future day may be just as bright and stronger as today. So on that, a prayer song for all of us here.
Aishka, Pakot Lakot, Hila Gasla, Marcy, Merci, Tete, Doide, Aligato, Merci Boku, Jangabel, Tutsi, Pawa, Rakis, Neglet, Shalomar, Danka. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rick. Nice one, Dan. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Rick. <laughs> Now, please remain standing, if you would, as I invite Aidan Holt, a music student in the Camosa Music Program at the C Victoria Conservatory of Music, and he's going to lead us in the singing of O Canada. <clears throat> We see the rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. Oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Thank you so much, Aiden. Please be seated. So before we get started and I, I introduce you to our Master of Ceremonies, just a couple of housekeeping things. In case there's an emergency, please, please do not use the elevators. Please head towards the Pisces parking lot where you came in this morning. Anyone requiring assistance, please use the south exit over here and look to the folks in the green, ground, green gowns for assistance. I'd also like to just digress for a moment. You know, Kermosin's, uh convocation is really, we have all of the pomp and circumstance that you would find at uh, traditional convocations and graduations, but we also like to do things a little bit differently at Kermosin, and we like to have fun. And we love it when you hoot and holler for your graduate. Don't feel like you need to be stuffy and that this is some kind of a stuffy event. We really encourage you to cheer for your fellow grads, to cheer for your graduate, and uh, we hope that you'll join us in doing so because we will be up here on stage cheering exactly the same way. So with that out of the way, it is my great pleasure to introduce your Master of Ceremonies for today, our Provost and Vice President of Education and Innovation, John Boris. And this graduating class looks so terrific. I'm going to take a selfie with John and I with It always is worth taking a few seconds to kind of take in the image of students who've completed a part of their educational career, family and friends who are here to celebrate them. Um, there's, there's a lot of good spirit and good feelings of joy in the room, so it's, it's very fun to drink that in. My name is John Boris, and I'm your MC today. I'd like to take a moment to express my very strong Thank you to Skip Dick, who, as an elder, um, has actually been working with the college in various ways for about 55 years now. And his guidance and wisdom has, has certainly helped us in our decision making along the way. Thank you to Scott and Benjamin, the drummers, who have, um, as, as Skip has said, helped to create the pathway for us to honor students, but also for the pathway for us to look after our graduates in the years going forward. And of course, a thank you to Brother Rick for his extraordinary welcome of love and 
any number of other things that uh, um, his, his uh, song could, could be, but certainly a prayer for the good wishes of students and families, so thank you. Um, I have been tasked now to introduce the members of the college leadership who are here on the dais tonight, today. I'm mixing up ceremonies this morning. Um, so uh, let me begin by introducing the dais party. Um, you've already uh, met Scott Harris, who is our registrar. Next to Scott is Dr. Monty Bryant, past chair of the Camosun Board of Governors. Beside uh, Monty is Dr. Lane Trotter, the president of Camosun College. And then we have Prince Solanke, who is with the external executive of Camosun College Student Society. Um, and Carly Hall is the Dean of the School of Health and Human Services. And next to her is Dwayne Pettyjohn, the Associate Dean for the School of Health and Human Services. They are joined by the uh, faculty, uh, a representation of the faculty from the School of Health and Human Services. And we have a few overflows along the side of the gym, but I just want to take a chance, or uh, the, the chance, to acknowledge the faculty that are here to make a fuss and, and celebrate students along with us. And we will more appropriately honor our faculty colleagues toward the end of uh, the ceremony. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge, I believe we have a special guest with us today to support our graduates. Thank you to Dr. Teal Phelps Bondaroff from the District of Saanich for joining the celebrations. And she was here yesterday, but I'm, oh, there she is back there. She's going stealth today. Welcome. Um, and just a few things before we get started. Um, we will be encouraging, uh, uh, I refer to it as misbehavior, but um, we, we do love it when the family and friends and students really enjoy the ceremony. So we'll be giving you prompts about that as we move through the day, move through the ceremony. As we wrap up our celebrations at the very end, we will have a special convocation video featuring some of your fellow graduates. And there's also receptions just outside um, of the main doors as you came in uh, for all of you afterwards. We hope you'll stay for that, for a chance for you to celebrate with your graduate. For friends and family who are unable to attend, the ceremony is also live streamed on Camosun's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash um, A hello and thank you to all those who are joining us online today. And I know from having worked the room a bit earlier, we have graduates from all over the world, from the Philippines, from India, from um, all over South America, um, parts of Europe, and so on, Africa. So we know that they're here, but their families are often unable to get here and are live streaming. But we also know that we have family live streaming from the Yukon and Northwest Territories as they observe their student graduating today. So for us, that's a really big expression of our role as a community college, that our community really does span the world. Uh, one last request, and that is to ensure your cell phones and other electronic devices are muted. Um, and it's my very real pleasure now to ask Dr. Monty Bryant, the past chair of the Camosun College Board of Government Governors, to bring greetings on behalf of the board and also on behalf of the Honorable Lisa Baer, Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills. Over to you, Monty. Good morning, everyone, distinguished guests, honored faculty, and graduates of the Camosun class of 2024. <laughs> On behalf of the Camosun College Board of Governors, it is an honor to be here to celebrate a momentous occasion and to recognize the outstanding achievements of each and every one of you. Equipped with the knowledge and skills gained during your time at Camosun, I have no doubt that success awaits you. You are the leaders, innovators, and change makers of tomorrow, and the world eagerly awaits your contributions. 
Your time at Camosun has been shaped by the dedicated faculty and staff who each helped you along your journey. They have been your mentors, challenging you to think critically, encouraging you to explore new horizons, and giving you the skills needed to take the next step. We hope that you will remember these skills and lessons and apply them as you pursue your goals. Whether you're entering the workforce, starting a new career, furthering post-secondary, or even continuing your studies here, please stay connected. And you know you always have a place at Camosun. Camosun Board of Governors wishes you all the best in your next steps. Congratulations, graduate graduates, and I am now pleased to introduce a special video message from the Honorable Lisa Baer, Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills. Welcome to everyone gathered for the Camosun College 2024 Spring Convocation Ceremonies. I'm Lisa Baer, Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills. And I'd like to acknowledge that I'm speaking from the territory of the Laguangan peoples, also known as the Esquimalt and the Songhees First Nations. On behalf of Premier David Eby and the Government of British Columbia, I'm honoured to recognize this important milestone for the graduates of Camosun College. Through late night study sessions, challenging assignments and moments of doubt, you have shown resilience and tenacity, emerging as future leaders in your fields. Behind many graduates stands a pillar of unwavering support from family and friends whose continuous encouragement has been a guiding light throughout a fulfilling academic journey. To the faculty and staff, your dedication, passion and commitment to excellence have paved the way for student success. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to the graduates of Camosun College. This is an incredible accomplishment. You should be very proud of the work you've done to get here and may your future be filled with endless opportunities, success, and fulfillment in your professional careers. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thanks very much to Monty and to Minister Baer for their words of encouragement and congratulations today. And now I have the pleasure of welcoming Camosun College President, Dr. Lane Trotter, to the podium to say a few words on behalf of the college. Please help me welcome Dr. Lane Trotter. Good morning, graduates, family, friends, honored guests, faculty, and staff. Today is a day of celebration and triumph as we come together to honor your outstanding accomplishments. On behalf of the entire college community, congratulations to each and every one of you for reaching this milestone in your educational journey. As we gather here today to celebrate the achievement of our graduates, I'd like to highlight those who have been instrumental in getting them to where they are today. On behalf of the entire college community, I want to thank all of those who have lent their support and who have helped get this fantastic group of graduates to the finish line. Thank you to the faculty and staff of Camosun College who have helped shape the future of our graduates through dedication to their education and success. We really do have an amazing group of faculty and staff with me over here. And if you could join me in a quick round of applause for our faculty. <clears throat> We also want to thank the Camosun College Foundation and the generous members of our community who have contributed to establish scholarships and bursaries. Their support has been pivotal in making this day a reality for so many of our students. We must also acknowledge the personal support networks of each of our graduates. Whether it is the uplifting presence of family members, the understanding and love from spouses and partners, the unwavering encouragement of parents or the support and dedication of friends, each of these individuals have helped play an invaluable role in shaping the success of our graduates. Now let's all come together for a round of applause to celebrate all those who have helped our graduates be here today. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Graduates, as you begin the next step on your journey, you carry with you not only the skills and expertise gained at Camosun College, but also the invaluable relationships developed during your time here. Embrace the opportunities that await you with confidence knowing that you have the power to make a meaningful difference. In this rapidly evolving world, innovation and adaptability are key. Continue to nurture your curiosity, embrace lifelong learning, and remain open to new perspectives. Your education at Commotion has equipped you with the tools to navigate the complexities of the modern world and contribute to building a brighter future for each other as well as our society. At Camosun College, we believe in the power of doing good work together. We know that the impact we create is not only dependent on the efforts of our institution, but on the collective dedication of our alumni as well. Congratulations to you, Camosun College graduates, as you join the, <coughs> excuse me, the esteemed community of over 70,000 alumni. Know that your hard work has positioned you to make a meaningful and impactful contribution in your, in your respective fields. So on behalf of the college, congratulations. We are so excited and honored to have been part of your amazing journey. Get out there and make yourself and the world proud. <clears throat> <clears throat> Now it is my pleasure to ask Prince Solanke, the executive, the external executive representative from the Camosun Student College Society to say a few words on behalf of the Student Society. Prince. Thank you, Dr. Trotter. Good morning, everyone. I'm honored to speak to you on behalf of Camosun College Student Society. Today is an incredible day of celebration, achievement, and excitement. And I'm so proud to be able to stand here today with you all to commemorate the long-awaited completion of our credentials. During our time at Camosun, we didn't just gain knowledge and skills. To pursue what we want, we also grew as people. The friendships we've built, the support we have given and re received from one another, the guidance from Camosun staff and faculty have been a huge part of our success. Today, as we celebrate our achievement, let's also recognize that uh, that comes with our education. We've been equipped with knowledge, skills, and a sense of social consciousness. It's our duty to go out there and make a positive impact in the world, whether it's through further education, joining the workforce, or contributing to the communities in a meaningful ways. Let's always remember the values of empathy, compassion and collaboration. Before we get to the exciting part and all get to finally cross the stage, I want to thank on behalf of Camosun class of 2024 and all the incredible faculty and staff who have helped us here. They supported, challenged and believed in us and for that we are all grateful. Remember that life is a journey and try to enjoy it. Take risks, explore, but remember to stay true to yourself. Congratulations, class of 2024. Thank you. Thank you, Prince. Um, and now we have the pleasure of three academic award presentations. And I'm wondering if the three recipients could make their way to the side of the stage just here. Um, and um, we'll have Yes, they deserve some applause. <laughs> we, have, we have one recipient trapped back there. She's now free, well done. Um, and Lane, could you please come forward to the podium to present the awards? Thank you, Lane. Thank you, John. It's my distinct pleasure today to announce the recipient of the Governor General's Collegiate Bronze Medal 2024. We're handing out five of these medals. That's the most I've ever seen. That speaks wonders about our students. 
The Governor General's Collegiate Bronze Medal Award recognizes the exceptional academic accomplishments of a student who achieves the highest overall grade point average from a diploma level college program. This year, as you can see, we have three recipients from the School of Health and Human Services. <clears throat> First, I'd like to introduce Sharon Ofiza. Did I get that right? Ofiaza. My apologies. Ofiaza. Sharon, you were selected by our registrar's office for your outstanding achievements in your course, courses required in the Diploma of Practical Nursing program. So we have something for you. And if you could join me right over here. Congratulations, Sharon. Well done. The next award recipient is to Sophia Buck. Sophie. Sophie? Sophie. Sophie Buck. That's two for three. <laughs> we'll see how I do in the next. Sophie, you were selected by our registrar's office for your outstanding achievements in your courses required in the Diploma in Early Learning and Care program. We have something for you. Could you please join me over here? <laughs> okay, I didn't expect to say any words, but I want to say thank you to my family in Germany, they couldn't be here obviously today, but I really want to say thank you. Danke schön, Mama und Papa und Luca und Teresa. Ich hab euch lieb. Congratulations, Sophie. Your words show a modesty and a respect for your family. The third award recipient is Okay, drum roll. Maisie Starkey. Did I get that right? <laughs> Maisie, you were selected by our registrar's office for your outstanding achievements in your courses required also in the Diploma in Early Learning and Care program. Well done. Congratulations, Maisie, and congratulations to all three of the recipients of the Governor General's Collegiate Bronze Medal Award. I have no doubt that each of your outstanding academic achievements will continue to open doors to opportunities and success in your future careers. We're so proud of you. Congratulations to Sharon, Sophie, and Maisie. Very well done, and I must admit, I reflect on the fact that in my educational career, I don't think I had a perfect GPA in a course, let alone in a program. So uh, uh, well done, and we expect amazing things from all of you. Now, yeah. And now it's time to recognize the graduates. Graduates, before we start, just because every ceremony we end up with a bit of confusion as to how it all works, we're going to play out the experience of students coming up the stage and how it all works. 
So parents, loved ones can just ignore all of us. It's, we're just talking to the students and to Carly and Duane, that's, that's it. So as Scott comes up as a student, he has a card on, with his name on it. And he hands it to his dean, that's me. I receive it and he walks over to the first X and I call his name. Scott Harris. The crowd goes wild. It's amazing. Everything's happening. And then Scott, another student is coming, so Scott moves to the next X on the stage, and he gets to hang out for a little bit there. Yay, and there's still more applause. It's all happening. And then there's a spot where the president and the board chair will stand right there. And so the graduate goes up and gets a handshake and a picture. And then um, cameras, at the back. cameras at the back. So it's all happening. Then he's done and he moves off the stage. And that's the chance for the faculty who are there get to go crazy and give hugs and all of those kinds of things. And it continues down as the faculty uh, on the side of the gym. So it's all insane, pandemonium, joy, all of that's happening. So is that clear? Yes. I, 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 for those people with, <laughs> with perfect GPAs, you're going to have to help us stay on track with this one. So uh, remember, it's just another test. Um, we'll be here to help you. So if you're uncertain or confused, just look at any of us in the dais and we'll say that way or whatever. So we're intending to be supportive, not annoying. Um, now, as we said, the photographer will try to um, capture uh, a picture of each graduate down where you're shaking hands with the, the president. And probably our weakest point in keeping the graduation ceremony moving is our president. He loves shaking hands and making a fuss over students, so we've encouraged him to speed things up today. So we're, we're, seeing, if he can <laughs> we're seeing if he can manage that challenge, he and Monty, so let's test them on that. So we'll now begin by presenting graduates, but one last request of the, of the uh, uh, audience, the, the loved ones, the family, the friends, the partners, is we do welcome, as Scott has said, uh, enthusiasm, uh, hoots, hollers, clapping. Um, you're welcome to come up uh, below the stage to take pictures, just try not to block people's um, sight lines and uh, just come while your loved one is receiving their award or their uh, a credential. Um, and, uh, but please make yourselves at home and make the ceremony yours. So with that, um, graduates will be presented by their program area within the school. And I'm now going to invite Carly Hall, who is Dean of the School of Health and Human Services, to please come forward and present the graduates from her school. Carly. Good morning, graduates, dais party, and honored guests, and a special thank you to Dr. Skip Dick and Brother Rick for getting us started in a good way today. <laughs> Graduation is a highlight of the year, and part of my role as dean is to ensure you receive the best education possible delivered by amazing instructors. Your instructors are waiting to congratulate you over to my left, and I'd like to extend my deep appreciation to the wonderful staff and faculty of the School of Health and Human Services. I've had the opportunity to meet some of you in action, in class, and labs, and clinic, and I've been truly inspired by your knowledge, your skills, your confidence, and most importantly, the caring relationships you've developed with the people you serve. You are future leaders who will change the way healthcare and social services are delivered today and in the future. You're entering into careers where you have the privilege to have a positive impact on people across our community. I'm so proud of all that you have accomplished and will continue to do in your careers. Now it is my honor to present the 2024 graduates of the School of Health and Human Services. <laughs> Vina Afeyabe. <laughs> Anna 
Anush Ashuha. Arabella Aquino. Lizzie Bacropolis. Samuel Broadbeck. Christina Cooper. Teresa Diebold Moss. <laughs> Paige Espenberg. Taylor Flynn. Giovanna Maya Ginini. Amon Preet Kaur. <laughs> Navjot Kaur. Anna Cow. <laughs> Mion Kim. Anna Krasnoshapka. <laughs> Hanita Lael. Mason Marchant. Yeah, Joanne Molino. Emma Nguyen. <laughs> McKenna Petrie.
Yunjing Chao. Chelsea Reed. Justine Savory. Kelly Tyson. Chelsea Walsh. Caitlin Ruck. Sylvia Zhao. <laughs> Ashley Zuboski. And I should have mentioned that those are the graduates of the Certified Dental Assistant Program. The following graduates are from the Certificate in Medical Laboratory Assistant. And this is Kian Chong. Rachel Disbeck. <laughs> Kelly Xing Ying. <laughs> Caitlin Jones. Janina Morales. Ad Tapan Rung Sid Tichai. And the following graduates are from the Certificate, Education Assistant, and Community Support. Thomas Cormier. Karen Johnson. Gino Klein. <laughs> Gordon Monich.
Donna Rusheff. Sarah Romanak. Mackenzie Scullion. Wen Yu Shen. Shauna Thompson. <laughs> Emma Witten. Juliana Weejoy O. And the following graduates are from the Certificate in Healthcare Assistant. Florence Abaya. Gania Alabai. <laughs> Maria Alkane. Eugene Orion. <laughs> Sabia Banu. Manchi Bat. <laughs> Dreamerlene Bichuin. Aileen Celestio. <laughs> Arsalyn Dalabutan. Marcia Dantas Gomez. <laughs> Earl De Lima. Colette Guinard. Yeah! 
Carolyn Gonzalez Rebolo. Elizabeth Garman. Well done. That was the best yell yet. <laughs> Did you pay for that? <laughs> Congratulations. Jaswinder Graywall. Renalyn Guzman. <laughs> Michaela Holbert. Vicki Huynh. <laughs> Melissa Hudson. Kashpreet Kaur. <laughs> Sari Kim. <laughs> Melisa Laquin. Jenna LeBlanc. <laughs> Ji Yun Lee. Lisa Lee. <laughs> Sunny Lagario. Rizel Manabat. <laughs> Angela Manalak. Rico Marshall. <laughs> Elizabeth.
Olivia McKay. Kiko Okubo. Andy Olson. Bumni Osioko. <laughs> Cheryl Packus. Pugginson. <laughs> Melissa Painter. <laughs> Ella Phillips. Moises Quisada Hernandez. <laughs> Erna Ragmat. <laughs> Jules Robertson. Corinne Rosquero. <laughs> Christy Riles. Say year. <laughs> Gleven Salas. Abram Samonte. <laughs> Tasnim Sumaya. <laughs> Larina Town. Beverly Tyson. No popularity there. No Victoria Batia.
Haley Weeb. Hayupa Sachs, Grace Whitman. <laughs> Abby Withers. And the following are graduates from the Certificate in Mental Health and Addictions. Alexis Adrians. <laughs> Hassan Ahmed. Brooklyn Bits. John Bob. Emma Calderwood. Elizabeth Cardoso. <laughs> Carmen George. <laughs> Danny John. Adrian Lee. <laughs> Ross Marshall. <laughs> and a future graduate. Evan McDonald. <laughs> Michael Neem. Danielle Parhar. <laughs> Lucy Smith. Katie Tarunen. Enjoy, enjoy it. Work for the day. <laughs> it's all yours. Jordan Willard. Thank you. 
and the following are graduates from the Diploma, Community, Family and Child Studies. Yithui Wangwei. Abby Inglis. <laughs> Selena Jakes. Yasin Sukhiana Magasa. <laughs> JC Pollard. <laughs> Cora Timmerman. Genti Bakani Folster. <laughs> Shayna Barker. Caitlin Church. <laughs> Ella Dithy. Manuel Epp. <laughs> Natalia Fonseca Figueroa. Alakendra Pranuti Ramirez. <laughs> Ember Haywood. Timothy Henderson. Grace Jackson. Krisha Langadon. <laughs> Jocelyn Danelli Lemus de la Cruz.
Sarah Meyer. Marianne Radke. Sarah Scow. Andrea Soriano Malero. Heather Story. Bonnie Tam. Sarah Towler. Nadia Vincenti. And the following graduates are from the Diploma in Dental Hygiene. Amrit Ark. Amnit Bangu. Sarah Blake. Carissa Foreman. Selena James. Woo Jin Kim. Simrin Mann. <laughs> Holly Mark. Rianne Nguyen. <laughs> Navpreet Nijer. <laughs> Ray 
Lauren Primrose. Emma Rowe. <laughs> Alyssa Schufer. Degisha Shate. <laughs> Melanie Semester. <laughs> Anthesa Suarez. And the following are graduates from the Diploma in Diagnostic and Medical Sonography and Cardiac. Talia Anderson. Samantha Dugan. Aaron Edwards. <laughs> Emma Eichhorn. Michaela Hines. <laughs> Mohammed Zarek Kureshi. Dorothy Salim. <laughs> Jamie Ashcroft. Philippa Silliers. Sarah Hunter. Avneet Kaur. <laughs> Olivia Kuwazni. <laughs> Caitlin Michaelis.
Delaney O'Toole. Maya Rudman. And the following are graduates from the Diploma in Early Learning and Care. Kawisara Adulia Vidni. Anna Avina. Paloma Bellido Calmet. Kylie Bromberger Hickey. Sophie Buck. <laughs> Manwa Chien. Miranda Holiday. <laughs> Brianna Deleuze. Tanin Pon Daujalad Sangshi. Maria Garcini Flores. Adela Gardner. <laughs> Pamela Gonzalez. Luna Gregg. <laughs> Hannah Gunderson. Jordan Hunt. <laughs> Letitia Bernardes Ignacio.
Vanessa Knudsen. Dorothy Kwan. Emily Lavac. <laughs> Tian Yun, sorry. Tian Lun Lee. <laughs> Hannah Logan. <laughs> Yasmin Morel Lago. Lisa McGrath. <laughs> Susie McMillan. <laughs> Hoi Ting Mac. Hayek Young Siong. <laughs> Leo Cell Pestano. Loida Ortega. <laughs> Aleka Norris. Helena Norris. Shoko Omi. Zaztel Orozco. <laughs> Rafaela Rompolini. Erica Sankey. <laughs> Paola Sosa Remiax.
Maisie Starkey. Zengyan Sun. Musi Choi. Cassidy Tipaving. <laughs> Molly Underwood Mosley. Alexia Wakefield. <laughs> Kylie Ward. Cena Warren. Yeah. Chantu William. Becky Yang. <laughs> Yikning Yim. And the following are graduates from the Diploma in Medical Radiography. Caitlin Arthur Sykes. This group would like to acknowledge their classmate, Todd Head. Delaney Bella. James Beller. Annalise Spirit. Madison Hilgersom. <laughs> K. 
Cassidy McCafferty. Mike Redgrave. Mike Salen. Sydney Thiessen. Selena Vermat. And the following graduates are from the Diploma in Practical Nursing. Julia Amoy. Kimberly Castillo. <laughs> Joshua Corville. Caitlin Darby. <laughs> Caitlin Faulkner. Emma Foisy. <laughs> Kirsten Hett. Sarah Jones. <laughs> Lanny Knight. Micah Mako. Sharon Ofiaza. Mariela Palacios. <laughs> Savannah Paul. Elizabeth Thorne.
Corey Turdwalib. Alana Tweeter. Sarah Walker. Ashley Young. And it's my pleasure to present the graduating class of the School of Health and Human Services of 2024. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, graduates, and thanks for the respectful and uh, enthusiastic support for our graduates from all of our guests. It was impressive. As our ceremony comes to an end, we want to take an opportunity to ask a few fellow students, staff, and faculty why they belong at Camosun. And it's just our chance to share the reality that although this is one ceremony, we have multiple ceremonies reflecting um, the full range of programs at the college. So we invite you to take a look at the video that will play. I feel like I belong at Camosun College because I really value hands-on learning and Camosun has given me tons of opportunity to, to get that hands-on learning. I feel like I belong at Camosun because of the meaningful connections I have with instructors. All of them encourage me to grow. I feel like uh, I belong at Camosun College because it's so diverse and people from all across the globe are here as, uh, as one and the unity makes me happy. I've grown more and more confident about the things I can do and I've been pushing myself out of my comfort zone. It's been, it's been nice. I feel like I belong at Camosun because of the dedicated attention we get from faculty having small class sizes and the diversity of backgrounds that we have in the student community. I feel like I belong at Camosun College because it has been a nurturing and inclusive community where I found support and opportunities for growth, either personal and professional, which helped me to feel connected and valued as an international student. I felt like I belonged at Camosun College because most of my friends and family have attended this college and I also heard a lot about their carpentry program um, enticing me to join up and also further my career in this trade. At Camosun I can be always close to home. I can be myself, exploring my passions and pursuing my goals, knowing I'm supported every step of the way cliche as it sounds. I can be myself. I shouldn't doubt my skills and I should fully embrace who I am as a person. At Camosun I can be myself to the fullest and reach my potential thanks to applied learning. I can be my authentic self, staying true to my values, while also engaging in meaningful work for the community. At Camosun College I can be myself and trust in my own skills. 
Camusin, I can be innovative, secure, have my voice heard, and be the fullest version of myself, being happy, cheerful, and doing what I love to do. You always belong here. You always belong here. Anata wa itsumo koko ni zokushiteimasu. You always belong here. You always belong here. You always belong here. You always belong here. You belong here. You belong here. You belong here. Você sempre será parte dessa comunidade. You always belong here. You always belong here. You always belong. Always belong here. here. And now, as we near our closing today, I just want to remind everyone that we do have refreshments in the tent area outside that away, and we can all hope you can stay to mingle for a bit. And now, graduates, the time has come where you can transfer the tassel on your cap from right to left, and... And you can take a moment to reflect on the achievements you're marking today. Congratulations to each of you, and we wish you, of course, the very best. We now would like to ask our faculty members to stand at the end of the dais, and we'd like to take a chance to acknowledge that as we celebrate the, the journey that the students we're celebrating today are taking, the faculty who have been part of teaching, learning, and cajoling students providing support when their times are tough in the learning process, when there is stress, and finding ways to help everybody complete and be successful in their program, these faculty who aren't standing. I'm gonna have to work with them on the whole standing thing, aren't I? <laughs> Thank you, and, and sincere thanks for all the work you do. Now, our final step today, and this is going to culminate in a great picture opportunity, because we're going to get the, the family and friends and so on to give a standing ovation for our students and give applause, and then I'm going to call for the students to stand and join the screaming and throw their hats in the air. So it makes a, a pretty good picture. So we'll give yourselves a second. But at this point, I'm going to ask friends and family to stand and to applaud and celebrate and scream for the students here today. And now students, you can stand and toss your caps and join the, the movie. Shakes and it bends, don't